Members and guests of the World Affairs Forum gathered at the Stanford Yacht Club to talk kleptocracy with former NPR reporter Sarah Chase. As a senior associate in the South Asian program at the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace, Chase is an expert in kleptocracy, anti-corruption, and civil military relations. Kleptocracy is a form of political corruption where the government tries to increase personal wealth and personal power, which often is achieved by the embezzlement of state funds. I think training is a really critical issue, that there's not sufficient focus on how do you train a professional diplomat who's a not a kind of dinner party note taker, but actually is a kind of expeditionary person? The World Affairs Forum is a nonprofit organization part of the World Affairs Councils of America that strives to expand the understanding of global affairs and America's role in the world. Every month, the forum hosts at least three guest speakers. Chase was also a former special advisor to the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and a former reporter. After covering the fall of the Taliban, she later moved to Kandahar, Afghanistan in 2001 to launch a manufacturing corporation to revive the region's agriculture. She is extremely intelligent and very experienced and very straightforward person. Chase says every situation needs to be examined in its own context. She tells us the U.S. is addressing the Syria issue traumatized by past experiences in war and does not view the Syrian situation as a civil war. She tells us there's hope for a nonviolent response. This is the case where a government that owned all of the means of force, all of the levers belong to the government, deployed every single one of those levers, including chemical weapons, against a defenseless population that, okay, at some point, started trying to defend itself. In Stanford, Priscilla Lombardi, it's Relevant.com.